pose today. So knees to the outside edges of your mat, big toes behind you to touch. And then walk your hands forward, rest your forehead on your mat. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Take a couple more breaths just like that. Big inhales through your nose, followed by open mouth exhales. And then seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And then let the next 45 minutes be just for you. So do what feels good in your body. If you need to modify any poses, please do so. If you need to break and come back to child's pose at any time, it's up to you. On your next inhale, come up to a tabletop position on your hands and your knees. Wrists stacked on your shoulders, knees under hips. And we'll take a couple of cat and cow poses. So inhaling for cow pose, drop your belly low, tailbone and gaze high. And then exhale for cat pose, round your spine. Engage your core to squeeze your belly button towards your spine. And then move through with your own breath. Inhales. And exhales. And then find a neutral spine. And then take a couple circles, just rolling out your wrist. So circle clockwise about five times. And then five times the other direction. All right, inhale your right arm high. Roll out your right wrist. Exhale, thread the needle, bring your right shoulder onto your mat, right ear comes to your mat. And then from here, you have the option to walk your left fingertips forward. Or wrap your left arm behind your back, reaching for your right hip crease. Replace your left palm on your mat. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, tabletop. Other side, inhale, left arm high. Roll out your left wrist. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your left shoulder and left ear onto your mat. And you have those same options. You can walk your right hand forward or find a half bind by reaching behind your back for your left hip crease. Replace your right hand on your mat, inhale left arm high. Exhale, tabletop. And then we're gonna move into puppy pose. So keep your hips stacked over your knees. 
but walk your hands forward and bring your chest and forehead down towards your mat. So start with your forehead touching your mat. And this might feel just fine. You can stay right here with your forehead touching your mat. If you want more of a stretch, you can look towards your hands and bring your chin towards your mat. And then the next step after your chin would be bringing your chest to your mat. And slowly come back to tabletop. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, down dog. Send your hips up and back. Take any movements you need here, pedaling out your heels. And then find stillness in your down dog. And we're gonna roll forward to high plank, but to get there, we're gonna create the same position with our back as we did in cat pose. So starting from your feet, start to round your spine at your low back, and then continue to round through the top of your spine, through your shoulders, and find high plank. You might have to adjust your um, hand and feet placement. Okay, and then we're gonna do the opposite. So start at your neck, tuck your chin, round your spine. So it's kind of like a wave going forward and a wave going back. So one more time coming forward, tuck your tailbone, round your spine, come to high plank. And then find cat pose in your upper back moving down to your lower back, send your tailbone high, and then press your feet towards your mat for down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Bend ragdoll pose, feet hip width distance apart. Bend your knees a lot to bring your torso onto your thighs. And then relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Option to interlace your pinkies into opposite elbow crease. Option to sway side to side. And then release your fingertips towards your mat. So heel your feet together, bring your big toes to touch. Slight space between your heels. Bend your knees, slowly roll up to standing. Exhale, standing at attention, bring your hands together at our center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Blink your eyes open, inhale, mountain pose. And spread your head, palms facing inward. Tuck your tailbone, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, vertical twist. Drop your right arm behind you. Reach your left arm forward and then rotate your shoulders towards the long edge of your mat. Try to keep your hips forward. Inhale, back to mountain. Exhale, vertical twist, other side. Left arm reaches back. If it's okay on your neck, gaze towards your left thumb and extend your right arm forward. Nice. Inhale, back to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Bring your hands to your mat or anywhere along your legs. Inhale, half lift, 
Press your hands in the front of your legs, find length through your spine, pull your shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, find length. Exhale, forward fold, find depth. One more time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And this is our last half lift. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, crouch and curl. Come up onto your toes, set your hips towards your heels. Find that ball pose. Tuck your chin, bring your forehead towards your knees. Heels down, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, vertical twist, other side. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, crouch and curl. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, vertical twist. Keep your core engaged. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, vertical twist. And really use your abs to make that twist in your shoulders. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, crouch and curl. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Pause here. And we're gonna take gorilla pose. So bring your feet about hip width distance apart, just like ragdoll pose. And bend your knees, just like ragdoll pose. And then slip your hands underneath your feet. So your toes come up to your wrist creases. So um, yeah, to your wrist. And then from here, you can gently shift your weight forward into your toes. And then if you wanna find more depth, you can pull on your feet to bring your torso closer to your thighs and your elbows will come out to the sides. Option to straighten your legs a little bit. And release your hands. Toe heel your feet back together, big toes to touch. Inhale to chair pose. Bend your knees, sit your hips low, arms up by your ears. Squeeze your ankles together, squeeze your knees together. Then shift your weight back a little bit so you feel, feel it in your glutes. And gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale, airplane arms. Lean forward, bring your arms back behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your pinkies together. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, left knee lifts. Bring your left knee in line with your left hip. Exhale, standing figure four, bring your left ankle to your right knee. Sit your hips low. Try to keep your chest lifted so that, um, that nice chair pose through your left leg and your upper body. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to mountain pose or one legged mountain pose. Keep your left knee lifted. Exhale, find high crescent with airplane arms. Land your left foot behind you. Arms just like we have them in 
chair with the airplane arms, squeeze your pinkies together. So weight is mostly in your right leg and your left leg is still strong. So still engaged and you're on the ball of your back foot. Inhale to mount or inhale to warrior two. Open up towards the long edge of your mat. Spin your back heel down and adjust your stance as needed. Really bend into your right knee and gaze forward. Think about pulling your right heel towards the arch of your left foot and vice versa. Just keep your legs nice and strong. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Lean forward, left, right elbow comes to the inside of your right knee. Left arm reaches high. Inhale, reverse triangle pose. Straighten through both legs. Left hand comes to your back leg. Right arm reaches high. One more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Bring your hands to your mat. Step your right foot back. Move through whatever chaturanga you're feeling today. Keeping your elbows in towards your rib cage. Inhale to up dog. Knees lifted off of your mat. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, right knee lifts this time. Keep your right knee in line with your right hip. Inhale, exhale, standing figure four. Bring your right ankle to your left knee, sit your hips back. One more round of breath here. Inhale to one-legged mountain pose. Exhale, high crescent with airplane arms. Send your right foot back. The back leg is straight. You're on the ball of your back foot. Squeeze your pinkies together, activating through your upper back. Inhale to warrior two. Open up to the right side. Adjust your stance as needed. Back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Peek down to see your left big toe on the inside of your left knee. And then just like on the other side, think about pulling your feet towards one another. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Lean forward. Inhale, reverse triangle pose, straighten through both legs. Left arm reaches up and back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale to up dog, exhale, down dog. All right, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, high crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga. All is the option to skip this and go straight to down dog. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, high crescent with airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take an extra breath here. We're going to flow through each side one more time with a couple add-ons. Take one more big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. And reseal your lips. Inhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. And option for drinking bird, come onto your toes just like crouch and curl. And then bring your chest a little bit closer to your mat. Maybe start to straighten your legs. And land your heels down. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, left knee lifts. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, airplane pose. Bring your left foot or your left leg behind you. Find your airplane arms. And then work to bring your torso and left leg to parallel the mat. Flex your left toes towards your mat. And when you're ready, land in high crescent lunge. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. And pause here. Option to take a half bind with your left arm. So you can wrap your left arm behind your back, reaching for your uh, right hip crease. 
And then you can use your left hand to grab onto the inside of your right thigh and kind of rotate your left shoulder open a little bit more. Nice. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten both legs, reach up and back with your right hand. Exhale, triangle pose, reach forward with left fingertips, right fingertips rather, and then bring your right hand down, left arm reaches high. Inhale, up to star pose. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Bring your toes slightly in, heels out, and then hinge from your hips. Bring your hands to your mat or anywhere along the outside of your legs. One more breath right here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, find chaturanga, walking your hands to the top of your mat. Step your right foot back. Move through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, last side, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Oh, no, yeah. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, airplane pose. Swing your right foot back. Work to parallel your torso and your right leg with your mat. Flex your right toes towards your mat. Keep your chest nice and open. And when you're ready, land in high crescent lunge with airplane arms. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle and pause. Option for that half bind on this side, bring your right arm behind your back, reaching for inside of your left thigh. Inhale, reverse triangle pose. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach forward with left fingertips and bring your left hand down, right arm reaches high. Inhale up to star pose. Keep your toes out, heels in, and exhale to goddess squat. So we're gonna find like horse pose with our feet or with our knees and our legs. So think horse pose with your hands to heart center, but then our arms are actually gonna, um, we're gonna open our chest and squeeze our shoulder blades together. So squeeze your elbows together. 
Just like horse pose, try to keep your shoulders over your hips. Nice. Inhale to star pose. And then switch your toes slightly in and exhale widely for a fold. And you can stay in wide leg forward fold or move into skandasana. Um, um, we're gonna do both sides, but to go to the left first, point your left toes out and then bend your left knee. Make sure it's going in the same direction as your left toes. And then settle into your left leg, flex your right toes towards the ceiling. Option to keep your hands on your mat or bring your, your hands to heart center. Inhale, come back through center, and then move into Skandasana on the other side. So bend your right knee, make sure your right toes and right knee are pointed in the same direction. And then settle your hips down, Flex your left toe towards the ceiling, left toes, and then bring your hands to heart center or keep your hands on your mat. And then come back to center, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, half lift right here. Exhale, chaturanga, top of your mat. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right heel high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Right knee comes behind right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind left wrist. And then find sleeping half pigeon. And then lift your torso up and grab your strap. All right, so we're gonna do a little mermaid light pose. <laughs> um, it, bend your, first just keep your chest lifted and bend your back knee. So using your hamstring and your left glute to bend your left foot or bring your left foot towards your, the back of your head. All right, so then once it's lifted, wrap your strap around your left foot. Yeah. And then from here, bring your strap in front of you. And mermaid pose, ideally you would have both hands on your left foot. So keeping your chest forward, you want to just gently pull at your strap to bring your left foot towards the back of your head. Nice. And gently let that left leg go. Step back to down dog to shake out your right leg.
And then just like the beginning of class, let's take like two rolls forward. So um, find cat pose through your spine, come into high plank, and then do the opposite, rolling from your shoulders down to your low back. One more time, come forward and come back. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Left knee behind left wrist, left ankle somewhere behind right wrist and find sleeping half pigeon. And then bring your um, hands back to your mat, lift your chest up, and then don't grab the strap yet, but use your ham your right hamstring and your right glute to lift your right foot towards the back of your head. All right, now once you're ready, grab your strap, loop around your right foot. And then, yeah, keep in mind that you want your chest square forward pretty much. Um, um, so this is really a back bend and a little bit of a, a quad stretch through your right quad. Um, bring both hands to your strap. Keep your chest lifted. And find the spot that feels good, it doesn't hurt. And this stretch is also kind of nice because you can pick what you stretch. So if you pull on your strap, you can find more of a quad stretch. If you kind of let your foot go, you can find a shoulder stretch. And then when you're ready, release your strap and bring your right leg around in front. And we'll find a forward fold counteract that back bend. So send your um, legs forward, inhale, arms high, exhale, forward fold. Option for straight or bent legs. Inhale, lift your torso up, and then come all the way onto your back. Find happy baby pose. Reach up and grab for the insides or outsides of your feet. Use your hands to bring your knees closer to your mat. Option to straighten one leg, then the other, or both. And send your left leg long. Bring your right knee into your chest. Give a squeeze. 
Exhale, supine twist, guide your right knee over your torso. Extend your right arm long, gaze over right fingertips. And come back to center, switch out your legs, send your right leg long, left knee, Keep it, give it a squeeze towards your left armpit. Exhale, supine twist, guide your left knee over your torso, extend your left arm long. And come back to center. And then find legs up the wall pose. So bring your knees into your chest and then send your feet up high. Try to stack your um, ankles over your hips. It's okay if your knees aren't straight, if your legs aren't straight. And then relax your arms by your sides. And if you want, you can stay in this pose for the remainder of class. But if you want to take Shavasana, feel free to move into that resting pose. Wherever you are, we'll be there for just a couple minutes. Close your eyes. Begin to deepen your breath. Begin to bring movement back to your body. And over the next three breaths or so, make your way to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to heart center, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open up, exhale, side out. Bring your hands to the third eye center, the space between your eyebrows. Come back forward, namaste. 
Thank you for joining this Wednesday night. Uh,